Hello everyone and welcome back to Codeflix. So as you can see, we have made a text video effect and in the text we can see a video which is of an ocean or we can see we have embedded a video inside the text. So here you can see that here these are these are the letters of ocean and in that letters we have kept a video. So I'll show you the video fast. So I'll exit the full screen. And uh, this is the video, this is the video of an ocean which you have embedded inside the text. So here you can see that the man will crawl or swim inside this water. So here you can see, so this is the part which I paused here. So we will be making a text video effect in this video and we'll be using the letters ocean and embed a video of ocean in these letters. So this is the code for the text video effect and I will quickly explain what I have done here. So this is some basic styling. So I have taken the Bico font. Then in the body I have given some margin and the background color. Then there is header with width margin position and the maximum width of the header. Then I have given some settings to the video which is 100% width of the video. And this is some settings for the SVG which is the width is 100% and the position is absolute position for SVG then I have set the CSS for the text and for the rectangle which we will be making so I will show you that which is in the HTML so this is the HTML in the header tag and I have taken the video tag and in that we have some you, you can see that some tags are used for autoplay the plays inline muted loop so what these tags will do is the video will be in a autoplay so whenever the application starts suppose I refresh it the video auto plays itself and once the video ends we have written this loop tag so once the video ends it will again start the video from the first and start looping itself and we have muted the video and there are some similar commands then as you can see I have written two sources for video tags so this is the first source and so as you can see the extension is dot webm so here I open that source so this is the extension of dot webm and this is the video and if you see the second source that is dot mp4 this is that dot mp4 so I have kept open that also so this is the dot mp4 extension file so some browsers may support webm webm or sub browsers may support mp4 so for that we have kept two sources for compatibility then we have used the SVG and inside that we have used the mask. Inside the mask we have drawn a rectangle and outside the SVG we have drawn another rectangle. So inside the mask there is a rectangle and outside the mask there is a rectangle which will help us write these letters. So inside the mask we have a text of ocean. So I will explain it to you here in this. This ocean is inside a mask. So the mask will help us to embed the video inside that, that uh, text. The mask will help us for that. And outside the mask there is a rectangle inside which this whole text is embedded. So for that we will be using the rect tag. Then we have written a small amount of javascript for some purposes. So const video equals to dot query selector the video. So here the video tag will be taken in the query selector function and it will be stored in the video const video variable if window dot match media prefers reduced motion so what is this so I will open the official document of Mozilla so here it says that the CSS media feature is used to detect if the user has requested that the system minimize the amount of animation or motion it uses so let's take a scenario that a user wants to stop the animation or stop the videos that are being played to reduce the loads, load time or the size. So these animations which are played in the text, the user don't want to play that and just wants to show an image of it. So for that we have written this JavaScript. So what it will do if it passes the if loop, if it matches, it will remove the attribute of autoplay from the video. So it will remove the autoplay attribute which is here and the next thing it will do is it will pause the video. So video will be paused and only an image of this video wherever it is will be shown to the user. So only 
this much amount of code is used and we can make our own text embedded video let's see i'll refresh it and this is what you can make you can take any other video also and embed it in the text so that's all for today's video thanks for watching